Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Chicago wheat, Chicago corn, and Kansas City wheat. Chicago wheat. Please kindly pay no attention to any special colored highlighting on and for labels and text box on, on my daily chart. Sometimes my charting system plays silly buggers with my labeling and changes the color for no reason at all. There's no special meaning in any of the colored labeling. Anyway, this market, this market is a story of three channels. An original mid-June to early September Shallery Bear channel, which held at the important 38.2% Fibonacci, absolute Fibonacci line support below at 521, and which ignited the bullish incentive enough to push up and out of the bear channel. The subsequently created early September to mid-October bull channel, the second one, that peaked with a V-top uh, type formation in early to mid-October, and most recently the third one, third one, um, a small mid-September to early November bear channel, which, which prices this week have exited out of literally by just going sideways. Now, two things to note. The September to October bull channel and the October to November bear channel together have made a V-top pattern. The neck for such a pattern is approximately between the December 2020 low at 566 and the bright red neckline extension, currently 563, of the February to April reverse head and shoulders bottom. We were on our way down to there until this week, and I suppose last week as well. And then prices started getting supported by the medium moving average, currently at 578. The long moving average, currently 592, and the congestion zone 588 to 592. It also leaves hanging out there somewhat the primary target X for at 564 and a harder to reach tech, secondary target X1 at 561 for the breakdown from the original September to mid-October bull channel. However, all is not lost, as it could very well be that the action over the last week and this week may be forming a handle, so a V-top with a handle or extension to the V-pattern. I suggest watching carefully this market as this would still fit in with the potential targets below of Target X and Target X1. Chicago Corn. The gapping break higher in mid-September led to a small late September to early October bull channel that pushed up over both the gold long moving average currently at 432 and the November 2020 high at 439, eventually peaking up in the 450 to 455 area in what appeared to be thin air but in reality was the congestion seen from March to June as well as back in January and February. Prices then dropped away through most of October, but only as far as the short medium moving average, currently at 424 in mid-October, before once again trying back up. This time the market was initially capped by the gold long moving average and conversely held up and helped by the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 425, such that this week prices pushed up over the long moving average, currently at 432 even, and the November 2020 high at 439. There is the possibility of a nascent bull channel, currently 430 to 448, but it is not clearly defined as yet. The key question will be whether prices can attain the early October highs between 450 and 455, or will the erosion of the bullish incentive by, for example, the gold long moving average on a November 2020 high at 439, whether this will be enough to prevent prices from trading higher? I doubt, as there is quite a lot of ammunition stacked up below. I do believe there's enough below to, to help it between July and September. A further question is what pattern or patterns will emerge from the recent action? 
Apart from the ball channel idea, I don't see anything popping out as an idea at the moment. So I guess I'll just stick with what I have, the Nathan Bull channel. Yeah. One final thought. Just keep an eye further up overhead on the extension to the very slowly descending lower trend line currently at 464 of the July 23 to January 2024 descending triangle. I suspect this may become key at some point, much as it did back in May this year when along with the long moving average, prices were capped by them. Kansas City wheat. Much like Chicago wheat, this market is a story of three channels. The oldest and largest was the late June to early September shallowy bearish channel that eventually ended up with a flattened V bottom at the end of August. Then number two, there is the late August to mid-October bull channel that was eroded by both the gold um, uh, long moving average, currently at 602, and the medium moving average, currently at 584, as well as the interesting 38.2% Fibonacci line of the big old 2011 to 2019 move at 618. And finally, the third and most recent and smallest, the early October to date bear channel that looked good until these past two weeks when it met the bright red lower trend line extension currently at 579 of the big old November 23 to April 24 descending triangle and got stuck. I suppose I should always include a pattern I spoke about six weeks ago, also include a pattern I spoke about six weeks ago when I said and I quote, during February through to April we saw the development of a rectangle pattern based on the 551 to 590 area. Please remember this area as it became, more, became relevant to more recent action." End of quote. This area is the origin of the original larger bear channel, which I'd previously mentioned right at the start of this commentary. All this also still leaves two potential targets below. The primary target X at 531 and the secondary harder to reach target X1 down at 527. These are the targets for the break below the middle bull channel. Uh, the late August to mid-October bull channel. But for now, I'm having doubts about them. But for now, I'll leave them on my daily chart. I won't take them off. I'll leave them on there until something better comes along. I guess it all depends on what the market will do with a bright red trend line extension and the congestion below between 551 up to 590. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank you.